Greetings, Grado fans. We are going to do a little uh, second follow-up review here today. I'm not going to uh, show off any features physically here because we already covered that. And the reason why I'm doing a second one is because I have to keep these videos reasonably short because there's just too much stuff to cover in one. And uh, I want to get uh, just a few technical issues here. And uh, basically four issues that I outlined. And... Uh, questions I ask myself so uh, I'm sure other people are asking too and the reason why there's no comments on these videos is explained on my page if you look on a page you'll see the reason why uh, so let's uh, first question here um, people ask is the greater wireless here this new GW100 uh, some kind of a bridge between the uh, you know the little um, kind of informal uh, portable headphones like the e grado or some of the things out there like uh, oh I don't know maybe uh, one of those ones that cost makes is it a bridge between that and their other uh, series you know like the um, SR series and uh, I would say no that uh, the way that this headphone sounds and the way that it performs the kind of drivers it has all that sort of thing it's a it's a full up grado it's uh, like the SR series to me it sounds at least as good as an SR325 which is a pretty bold claim but um, that's, that's the basic idea here now uh, in Bluetooth now I'm talking about wired sound here it can be that good uh, and with a DAC it's even better of course uh, but in Bluetooth mode, of course, you don't have as much resolution as you would have if you're running wired, especially to a good DAC. But, you know, you're using Bluetooth when you're walking around doing other things and when you're outdoors and all that sort of thing. So, you know, the ultimate resolution is going to be lost on you anyway. So uh, the design is perfect for um, uh, all intended purposes. So uh, that's the first issue. second issue was uh, somebody mentioned... Um, since AirPods are wireless and they're also uh, not not isolating, uh, open or whatever, uh, how does that relate to that? Uh, and I'd say they're not comparable because AirPods uh, sit in the outer ear. They're not IEMs. IEMs can actually sound very hi-fi, but uh, sitting in the outer ear like that, they're a little more like an earbud. But the AirPods and the earpods are much better than uh, the old-fashioned earbuds, the little round things. Uh, but the sound quality of them varies tremendously depending on how close they get to your ear canal. So people with very small ears, they do a lot better with those. But in any case, even if you tune one of those up, EQ it up uh, so that it's, you know, as flat as possible, uh, it's still not going to be as good because it's just not made to be that good. The drivers aren't that uh, good. They're not made to be a high-quality IEM. So anyway, AirPods, um, they, could, they could actually serve the same purpose but um, not the same sound quality. So uh, let's see, third, third issue I have here is uh, options for wired use, because obviously, you know, uh, you can plug in a cable. And um, I use um, different DACs, like I've got an Oppo and I have a uh, Dragonfly Red, and uh, I even have a little uh, Fio uh, extension cable on here has a DAC in it. Uh, it has a lightning plug on the end of it for Apple phones. And uh, and also, uh, uh, when I'm out in portable use somewhere and everything else, I might use that uh, Belkin cable that has goes from a 3.5 to to lightning. Those can be pretty convenient for for best sound though uh, indoors uh, when it's quiet when you can really hear that resolution. Just uh, plug in a good DAC and uh, you could be amazed. Also, the other thing about this headphone is uh, that, unlike some that are um, that are that don't have a true passive mode, or the passive mode isn't equalized because the uh, electronics aren't active. So, in the case of both, the uh, uh, active mode is equalized, the passive mode is not. In the case of Beats uh, Studio Three, the uh, uh, it's kind of hard to say there's a true passive mode because as soon as you plug the cable in, the electronics always turn on. So in this particular case, you have a true passive mode, and it sounds its very best. Uh, the signature is the same either way, but uh, of course you get the best quality passive. But it's a true passive mode, so uh, so it's a it's a great home headphone as well as a portable. Now the last item that I had on my list of these four questions is about the tuning, 
if the headphones tuned by the people who make it for um, the best musical sound for you know acoustic and natural instrument sounds and all that sort of thing and voices you know for a realistic kind of um, natural sound as though you're you know listening to live music or something then if it were tuned for that then would it be less suitable for EDM rock metal and that kind of thing and so in my particular case um, I have all that uh, although natural sounding music is uh, I guess my uh, biggest interest but on EDM I find it does just an outstanding job and I'm going to have a, a second written review that will cover that and uh, as far as um, rock music Grado has a long history of uh, being uh, loved by people who listen to rock so I think that's a, a moot point there and then on the uh, last one on metal I think if you had some really bright metal uh, and I have some of that that's really bright and highly trouble energetic then uh, you might find this thing extra extra bright on that type of music but again uh, you know maybe people listen to stuff like that you know they really want something that's that energetic up there so who knows but uh, anyway that would be the only caveat I would have but for everything else uh, it's a great sound and uh, that's my uh, follow-up review thank you very much